Hi everybody, it's Carl and Ian from The Real Outdoor Experience. Today we're talking about musky. In this episode, we're talking about tactics. Ian shares his favorite tactics to be successful at musky fishing. So stand by, we'll get right back to it right after this. This Musky 101 episode is brought to you by Blackfly Lures, where names like Hatchet, Double Blade, Metal Buzz, Lizard Skin are not cool names of heavy metal bands. They're names of some serious pike, musky, and bass lures. Check these freshwater killers out at blackflylures.com. Tactically, how do we look for these big predators? Depends on your body of water. You know what? They love weeds. They uh, find the cabbage in the water. Uh, it's adjacent to deeper water. They like structure, obviously. A, a lot of it depends on what mood they're in as well. And the different bodies of water, I think, are, are significant in being able to fish effectively because in Georgian Bay, for instance, they're going to be feeding on, you know, the whitefish, suckers, ciscos, and herrings, using baits that are going to mimic that. Where do those bait fish hang out? And that's where you want to fish because when a big predator fish wants to feed, it knows where to go to hunt that. But you know what, exactly like pike, if you can get a weed bed, musky will love hanging out in that stuff. If you can get a big spinner or you know whatever you know bait you're jerking or tugging, just at the top of, the, of those weeds, they will come out of the weeds and smash it. That must be something else. I know what it feels like when a bass hits a topwater bait and what a thrill that is. But... Yeah. A 50 pound musky just attacking your tackle, that must be just wild. You mentioned topwater. Topwater is so effective and so exciting. You know, you've got a lure that might mimic a small duck or a big frog or a squirrel or anything like that. Just something big swimming in the water and boom, all hell breaks loose. It's uh, such an exciting way to fish. With musky fishing, we were talking about the different size tackle, the, the different size reels, appropriate size rods, and the, I guess the piece that I found very interesting was, this is a Mep Cyclops, one of my most favorite pike lures ever. And it's on the bigger scale in my tackle box of tackle. And then we look at one of our black fly lures here for musky and the size difference is absolutely enormous. This is the difference between your regular pike, and I've caught some very large pike on these lures and, and musky lures. Big fish will eat small bait, yes. no, no question about that. And how often have you been using a little Rapala and caught a bass that's the same size? Yes. You know, fish will strike out of reflex, almost anger, maybe territory. They're not always hitting your lure because they, they're hungry and they want to eat it. By going to the much bigger baits, you're going to eliminate all those little hammer handle size pieces where right. if you're your smaller lures, you might have more action. And, and hey, like those, those days, if nothing seems to be working, try going to those smaller lures because like us, sometimes you don't want that 12 ounce steak, sometimes you do just want the little grape, and I think that fish are exactly the same. But if it's that cold, dirty, snotty day, and you're getting follows, and you're seeing fish in the water, stay with the big lures. This is such a classic, you know, there's the, the double cowgirl, we've heard that. The teardrop, any Colorado or willow leaf, you know, double spinners, they create so much agitation in the water and throw such a signal. Steve Hartnagel does such a great job with these lures. They've got, <laughs> they look like a cheerleader. <laughs> when that's coming through the water, <laughs> drives the fish crazy. They're cheering the musky yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's an extraordinary lure. That is a great lure to do the uh, that prop washing technique with. Again, 10 feet of line just out the back of the boat and go as fast as you can. These blades should be bulging the water, but not skipping out. One of my favorite lures right there. If fish aren't following this particular lure, I will try it again in much different colors and see if that does it. Tactics are always very important. No matter what species of fish or animal that you're hunting, fishing, musky, they're big, big predators as we've talked about. Exciting stuff on the water, but you really have to know what you're doing. If you are targeting that species, tactics are important. Always keep it real, everybody. Thanks. Take care for now.